Gina, thank you. Hitting the highway today, a new memorial to honor our veterans is revealed. This is pretty cool. A local artist is behind a new tribute to those who have served our country in submarines. Jamie is in Anthem this morning with a sneak peek. Good morning, Jamie. Hey, good morning, you do. Uh, this is a job for some heavy lifting, so we've got the big crane out here this morning. And this is a look at the memorial that they will be moving. This is for the Arizona Silent Service Memorial here. The artist is with us, a local artist, Renee Palmer Stevens. Renee, you've got some history when it comes to Veterans Memorials. I do, I do. This is my fifth Veterans Memorial, the second one in Arizona. The first one is the um, Anthem Memorial right across the street in Anthem off I-17. This is the Arizona Silent Service Memorial, and we are so proud of this. This is honoring submarine veterans who are seldom recognized for their extraordinary service and sacrifices. About 3,900 people lost their lives. Over 3,900 since the inception oh. of the submarine in military service, so back to World War One. Talk to me about the materials, the inspiration behind your design. Okay, it's um, a concrete base underneath, which is extremely heavy, about 30,000 pounds, and it's covered with copper to honor the copper state for all of the sacrifices. This plaque on the front honors only submarine veterans who were lost from Arizona, but the entire memorial honors all veterans. Nice to see our Arizona lost. names there, Renee. Yes. Thank you. I want to invite in Kevin. He is with Sunland Asphalt, and you all did a lot of work as well. Tell me about uh, what kind of projects you usually do, and then working on this design. Well, Sunland, we're a heavy civil uh, contractor. We do everything from paving to uh, highway work, bridges, uh, roads. That's kind of our niche. So a job like this is a little out of our uh, usual. Yeah. Um, as far as this project goes, we started building the actual uh, monument you see behind us in February of this year. Um, and pretty much I've worked on it continuously since then. So it's taken a lot of effort. We built the base first, um, then it was shipped off to here. Uh, they wrapped it in copper, built the sub, patinaed it and coated it. And pretty much every day, a lot of long hours just to get the monument to what you see today. Uh, as far as the memorial at Wesley Bowling, we broke ground on that about a month ago. Um, we hope to be done mid-September. Um, once it's completed, it'll be fully ready for viewing. So. Definitely hope um, you come by and check it out. And they're still looking for donations, the Arizona Silent Service Foundation. Yes? Arizona Memorial Foundation. Uh, so you might see this memorial on the highway because about 9 o'clock this morning, it's hitting the I-17 South to go to where it will be at Wesley Bullen. That's where it's going to live again mid-September. It's going to be all established and in the ground there. And then come March, they're going to do a beautiful ceremony for us. So really cool. If you're driving I-17 today, watch for the memorial. Very impressive.